Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's March 16th, 2023 in the Big Bear area. We are going to be doing a highly requested run over near Fonskin, or not over near Fonskin, to Fonskin and around the lake that way. And uh, yeah, see how little snow we have left after all that rain. This is, this is nutty, you guys. We're in Big Bear City right now on the North Shore. And this is truly, I mean, it's it's really amazing. I know this time of year because of the sun's angle, the snow is not going to last as long anyway. But um, yeah, this is uh, pretty amazing to see very very little snow over here. When we get to the Big Bear Dam, you guys will see a lot more snow. But most of the town is is pretty sad when it comes to snow at the moment. Ski resorts are still good. So I don't want anyone to worry about that. Still come up here, have a blast, go skiing and snowboarding. In about a, f a few days, three or four days, we have another storm coming in, which could, if everything works out, you guys, it could dump a, a foot of snow on us. So let's keep our fingers crossed. That would be so perfect for the end of our ski season. If you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe and share. Do all those things for me. I would, it really helps. Thank you. I appreciate it. Beautiful views of the ski resorts right there. All right, we are at Stanfield Cutoff, you guys. Usually we would make a left to head back into our part of Big Bear Lake, but we are not. We're gonna keep on going straight. And you guys, please, please, please understand, I am I'm doing the very, very, very best I can. I've had so many requests to stop by here, stop by there. And of course, I, I want to do this all for you guys. I, I freaking love you guys. I love you guys a lot. And I want to do everything I can to prove that and to show you guys. I, But it's been so many requests. I'm forgetting some of them. What I've been doing is I've been screenshotting the messages and then going through my screenshots when I'm driving. Well, not while I'm driving, but before certain drives trying to hit those specific locations because I really do want to do this for you guys. There's no no more ice on most of the lake. That was quick, huh? But it's a gorgeous day today. The temperature is 46 degrees at the the moment and uh, let's see here I know the reflection isn't is, isn't helping I need to get anti-glare for the screen on the GPS system so I'll just take that off <laughs> because it's you're not really able to see too well through there I don't want to irritate anybody so as I said we're gonna be going through fawn skin and then out to the Big Bear Dam and then back just want to thank you guys again for all the support it's, it's been amazing I am I am so so grateful and fortunate for all the love and support it's so special On the other side of town, the potholes are remarkable. I mean, just incredible. In such a horrible, terrible way. They really need to get on top of that. I know they work hard up here, 
but they really need to get on top of that. I don't care for me, I care for you guys. No matter what, I have to live here. Well, I don't have to, I get to live here, and I'm just looking out for all of you. Population in Fawn Skin, 380. see when we get over to the dam if highway 8 or if, yeah if highway 18 is back open because a couple days ago when the wife and i went over there the gate was still locked closed and locked entering big bear So those of you who kind of know this town a little bit, I'll tell you what area to avoid for the worst potholes ever. You want to avoid, um, once you pass Community Market, heading towards like Baldwin and Sugarloaf and all those areas, try to avoid that whole stretch from Community Market to Maple. I mean, I, I thought I saw a car completely disappear in one of those potholes. It's that bad. San Gorgonio has loads of snow up on top. Jeez, it's beautiful. And where I just drove through in Big Bear City, where there was a little flooding a couple days ago, wasn't anything like, like it was. There weren't any streams running in the roads, nothing like that. Of course, I'm not driving down every single side street, so I'm not speaking for, for every area, but it wasn't too, too bad. drivers in a hurry huh I had a school bus driver flip me off up here once with kids on the bus because my back tire of my motorcycle was literally sticking out of the driveway by like an inch and I was getting on my bike I was sitting on it and I looked back and saw saw the bus fl flying by and they flipped me off <laughs> I wasn't too thrilled. I'm still learning how to, you know, stay calm <laughs> and just blow things off. But anyway, we're in downtown Fonskin now. There's their little liquor store slash market. Nice little shop there. I, I, I bought my wife a couple beautiful ponchos there right next to it. Here is a place where the water comes out or runs, runs, in, runs into the lake. Oh man, I wish I had more time. I wish I had more time because I just wanted to get you guys a better view of that. But that, um, I, I can't remember what 
those little chutes are called that send water into the lake. But that's the biggest one that I know of in town. I'm sure there's lots of them, you guys, but that's the biggest one that I know. And we're coming up into the eagle habitat area. Of snow right here. This part of Fonskin doesn't get much direct sunlight, it stays in the shade. This is one of my favorite views of town from the lake. I just love this right here. And this first house is kind of greenish blue. I'd love to live there. Oh man, just every morning waking up seeing that beautiful view. What a great start to the day, right? So we're basically riding right along the lake right here. Gorgeous day today. I don't know the last time we drove over here, you couldn't see the lake because these snow berms were so high. It's just amazing how fast it's melted.
We'll try to keep you guys up to date on the lake levels as well. I think we're between 10 and 11 feet below the full marker. That's the highest the lake has been since I've lived here for eight years. It's awesome, it's so awesome. We still have a ways to go, you guys, but you know what? I'm very, very thankful for what we've received so far. Look at cars are coming into town, guys. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Highway 18 is open, y'all. Look at this. They're coming into town finally. Yeah. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. So, guys, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what is up with 330 right now. I'm assuming they're, they're back open as well. But looks like all roads leading to Big Bear are back open. So come one, come all. Come enjoy yourselves. Share the beauty of this town with all of us. So yeah, we're over by the Big Bear Dam. We're on Big Bear Boulevard again. Temperature is 43 degrees. We are on, as you can see, Big Bear Boulevard. Doing a little twisties and turnies. 43 degrees. 386. Yeah, they still have a really good amount of snow over here. Unfortunately, we need this over at the ski resorts, even though they do have a good amount of snow still as well. Being situated basically on the mountain, they'll always get a lot more snow than just the regular parts of our town. Always, always. again everyone this is your your main route into Big Bear this is what 90% of you drive up to get to Big Bear potholes not so bad at this point right when I said that there's one right there but not so bad there's a few though over here the other day when we were doing a video over by Bear Mountain they were fixing potholes on Club View which was good I wish there was some sort of a material out there that they could use to start making roads where you'll never get a pothole. Here's Boulder Bay. Some really beautiful houses. I'd love to stay in one of those Airbnbs, but like two grand a night. Eh. If I could afford it, I would do it just to have that experience, you know, just to, to live that MTV Cribs lifestyle for a night. I think that'd be awesome.
but so far not too bad with the potholes in this area. This, I believe, used to be where the drive-in theater was. That would be a nice little touch to put, bring back a drive-in theater up here for summertime. To be under the beautiful stars and watching some great flicks. Okay, here's some, some big potholes right here. Another big one right there. Our Civic Center. Yeah, the potholes are everywhere. But once again, from the stretch at Community Market until you get to Maple Lane, which is the street you turn up to go to Sugarloaf. Oh my gosh, like I've never seen a street so bad. I've been around the world. <laughs> no street is better than that. As I said, I know they're working really, really hard up here. I'm sure there's a reason why it hasn't been done yet. So I'm just grateful for the hard work that they do put into this town to keep you guys safer and make your experience better. ever go into Lakeview Market, my friend Kyle works there. Say hello to Kyle. He's a super cool dude. Actually, Kyle, you, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kyle worked at the other store. That's my good friend Andy in there. Jeez, my memory is just horrible. Potholes galore. Once again, I always point this place out straight ahead they have a little roller coaster and it's a good place to do your paid sledding for the kids and they don't have to use much energy because they get pulled up the hill by that um, electric walkway it pulls you up so you don't have to use much energy and the kids can really have a blast really get your money's worth we're gonna kind of almost end the video by going through the village but we'll keep it on a little bit longer than that Tropicali people should should drop in there the reason I don't mention that much is because I have I've been there one time and, and I got like a specialty drink but I've heard great things about Tropicali you guys it's just, as I said, I, I never want to refer anyone unless, like, it's my own personal experience. But I've heard wonderful things about Tropicali. All right. Oh, they're getting the Christmas lights off the trees. That's, that's so sad. I hate seeing that. But I guess it wouldn't, Christmas wouldn't be as special if it was every day, so... I just love that time of year. Every, everyone seems to be in a more positive attitude, positive mood. I know Christmas can be hard for a lot of people too. Okay. Remember y'all, if you're, if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you feel that it really does help you guys out, yeah, please hook me up with a like and a subscribe. Thank you. place peppercorn grill it's a little pricey but it's really really good el hasalito i've been there once many many years ago i always forget about that place 
it looks like it's really good just because of how it looks from the outside, but obviously that can be deceiving. Hang on a second. at where we're at on the map. Answer is 44 degrees. This right lane, you guys, you want to avoid it. We're going to switch lanes. Look at that huge pothole right there. Yeah, because once, uh, yeah, this lane's horrible. So we're going to want to switch. And you'll be able to see for yourself. This stretch as well is horrible. This lane, not so much. Look at all those, jeez Louise. So bad for your vehicle. This year has been by far the worst year for, for potholes up here since I've lived here. So we're gonna go down Summit Boulevard. Oh, look at those, awesome. Summit to Evergreen and then turn left on Evergreen. So straight ahead is Snow Summit, you guys. But we are not going to be going that far. We're going to be turning left here. At least I think it's right here. Yeah, here it is. Huge pothole, jeez. across the street from my house. They got some really, really cute homes. Really big homes. Coming up to one of my favorite houses on this street, on the corner of the, where the stop sign is. Just looks so grand.
there's an Airbnb up here on it's the it's the furthest house down on the left hand side right before we get back to Moon Ridge Road. I've always wanted to stay there. It, it reminds me of a place I stayed in Utah. Um, a place I got sent for punishment though for a year as a young kid. But it, it looks just like it. I think this is it. It's huge. It's just a beautiful cabin. It is an Airbnb. All right, guys, anyway, that's it for the video right now. Hope you enjoyed the drive around the lake. This is Apple's bed and breakfast right here, straight, straight in front of us, that pink building. We are gonna stay there and do a video for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys again for everything. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for allowing me to share these with you. And once again, if you like what I do, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later.